uh, it's all, all still very fresh in their memories. Uh, and then we hope that uh, they will put on, uh, put up a very good uh, uh, play. And to uh, maybe uh, we are not uh, standing for any particular uh, team, but if you look at it very well, Abdul is uh, already uh, hatching for a particular team, and Jennifer is already hatching for a particular team. But we will let you know which teams we are hatching for. But maybe at the end of it, or if it favors me or it favors Abdul, we will let you know. That's how it's going to uh, pan out. Center referee for today's game uh, is Eunice Amala, all the way from, of course, our Plateau State, uh, very neighboring state, uh, to the FCT. Yeah, AR1 is Gloria Asse, why AR2 uh, is Justin Steven. The fourth official uh, is Zainab Oju. A match commissioner is Adana One ex international, of course, uh, coach uh, of the national team uh, present here at the Arathen uh, Sports Complex. Uh, Jennifer. Yesterday, we saw beautiful games uh, in this uh, competition. Hopefully, we will be seeing our first uh, quarterfinal team later today. And I don't know which team is going to be like. Confluence has actually qualified for the for the quarterfinals. I think they are the first team that okay. made it into we'll the quarterfinals. We'll the second team in absolutely, the quarterfinal today. Absolutely. Eleven minutes are uh, gone here. Adira thanks comp sports complex. Uh, is a throwing uh, two royal queens. Uh, Jesse number thirty-four. Uh, with the ball passes it to Jesse number, of course, uh, thirteen as they try to build an attack uh, from the flanks uh, in that one. But of course, uh, it has been checkmated. And the referee says uh, it will be a corner kick uh, to the royal queens ladies as they try to fashion uh, the first goal uh, in this game. Uh, we've seen uh, no really uh, mouth-watering action earlier. We saw uh, Jesse number nine Atume Doswa. Uh, with a chance uh, or in goal, but of course uh, she was blocked uh, in that one earlier in the match. But of course a corner kick uh, to Royal Queens as they tried to deliver an in-swinger uh, from the, just the player on the flank. Jesse number 24 spotting uh, Idika Chika with a corner kick, but of course uh, that ball goes out and it will be a goal kick uh, to the whole side. To the away side rather, we are the only budget side. Just in case you are just joining us, uh, it is the game between Royal Queens and only badgers, Royal Queens are all uh, the team in all red uh, with a touch of white uh, in that one. While only badgers, they are wayside uh, in a black and white stripes uh, with a black socks all to go with it. So far, so good. If we are talking about this competition, we know that yesterday, uh, the day four, that's today is uh, day five of this competition. We are gradually uh, getting, uh, it's ga gradually getting uh, tighter and stronger. Uh, for the competition and then uh, we recall also yesterday that honey badgers uh, they held Hana, uh, ghana police ladies fc to a 1-1 uh, draw it was a very hard one hard fought uh, uh, draw for that game and then uh, for for them and the royal queens uh, this morning i think royal queens will be doing everything that they can and also uh, honey badgers will do their best to make sure they secure victory and it's panning out Oh my goodness, I, <laughs> I don't know what you think, eh, Abdul, for these two sides. You can see that there's some level of seriousness, very big seriousness between the two teams. Uh, most definitely, uh, a quarterfinal ticket is very up for grab. Uh, so you should expect uh, plenty of seriousness uh, from both sides. Uh, knowing fully well uh, that a win uh, for Royal Queens uh, will just ultimately seal a place uh, for them in the next round uh, for only badgers a win for them uh, will keep them unbeaten in this competition and uh, will put them on four points uh, 
uh, in this group uh, they will uh, go above uh, Royal Queens and they might also have a foot uh, in the next uh, round uh, of the competition all they but need to do if it ends in a draw that means Royal Queens will qualify and Honey Badgers uh, they, will, they will have to wait for uh, another uh, match day to see if they can of course uh, qualify from that one but it will also not be rule for Royal Queens if it ends in a draw uh, they will have four points in that round Absolutely. if they lose scandalously in their last game mm -hmm. uh, they could still crash out uh, of this competition uh, already so it, it will be interesting to see how the match fans are for both sides I know both managers uh, will be pumped up uh, to ensure that they try and get early goals because uh, if they get those goals, uh, they will be under less pressure uh, going into the second 45 minutes of this game. You know, okay, there's a game that really uh, surprises me yesterday. By also points, uh, they got the first goal actually in their 14th minute, but that game ended six goals to nothing. I think it's something that I don't know if he has been experienced in this uh, flying officer's corp uh, since it started or... Uh, this is the first time. Six goals to nothing. Of course, uh, this year's editions has shown that uh, teams can score. Uh, we saw Confluence uh, score four goals uh, in their first game. Uh, yesterday, Bielsa, uh, uh, after losing their invis invisibility run in this competition, So the cleaners are winning that game uh, by six goals to nil. Not surprising for me. Mm. Uh, I, I did expect a win, uh, but not in the, the magnitude of that scoreline. But it's, it is, it's good for the competition. We want to see goals. I want to see good football also uh, on the field of play. And that's exactly uh, what we saw yesterday. And what is uh, really interesting me in this game particularly is uh, when you look at the crop of players, they are very, very young. I mean, uh, if you watch all the teams uh, in this competition, uh, Royal Queens and Honey Badgers, they have very young players. And this is what we are clamoring for in women football. Definitely. Uh, hopefully we'll get players that will, uh, from this competition, uh, go on to represent the Super Falcons. Uh, a few days ago, the Super Falcons list uh, was out. And we saw a, whole, a host of our own base players uh, in that one. Players that were so, supposed to be in this competition also. Uh, we saw players from Edo Queens, uh, players uh, from FC Robo yes. uh, in that list. So, who says that players from here can also go on to represent the country in future international competition, be the under-17, mm -hmm. the Falconet, the Flamingos, the under-20, and of course, uh, the ultimate one, the Super Falcons of Nigeria. That's mm -hmm. why it is a developmental uh, tournament, and that's why we want to see the best of football. Coaches are here, like we, we did see in the first match day. Scouts uh, also. Scouts are, are also here. Uh, Monies will trade uh, in this competition also, because when a player impresses another team, that player might not even go back uh, with, with our team, and she might just be signed up uh, by another team uh, for the true. new season. So that's the beauty of the preseason tournament, Absolutely. and that's exactly uh, what we want to see today. All right. Not also forgetting we have other matches for today. Our ladies clash against the SGH Sports Academy. That will take shape at 10.30 a.m. And the Do Queens will play against the Lakeside Queens at 1 p.m. While Dana's ladies will clash against uh, Nasarawa Amazons. We will try as much as possible to see uh, if they can secure victory in this game. Their first game uh, it wasn't victorious for them. And uh, they are one of the favorites in this competition. And we are still looking forward to see what they have that everyone is talking about uh, Nasara Amazons as one of the top uh, teams at the NWFL. Eighteen minutes gone uh, into the encounter here between Royal Queens uh, and, of course, uh, Oni Badgers. It is still goalless uh, between uh, both sides. Uh, not really much of an action park uh, game we've witnessed here. Both teams are still trying to find the rhythm uh, in the middle of the park. And it's a free kick uh, to the Royal Queens ladies uh, after an infringement spotted by the center referee, uh, Eunice Amala, all the way from Plateau State. Uh, number 30, of course, uh, five shirts will go on 
uh, Samuel uh, Vera who tried to deliver an in-swing cross uh, to cause trouble to the defense line of the Oni Badgers as they find their first goal uh, in this game. A long swing uh, into the box, but of course, uh, into the header, but of course, that ball uh, has been checkmated. She should have done better with that ball. Back to number two, she plays it, but of course, the ball has now been cleared for those who, are, who unfortunately lost the ball and uh, considered position back uh, to uh, Royal Queens. Uh, Jennifer, yesterday, Doswa was uh, a big uh, turn in the flesh uh, in the uh, defense line of the Ghana ladies. We should be able to replicate the same performance uh, today. Absolutely. I, I am actually looking at uh, um, uh, Honey Badgers. Uh, I think they have all it takes to uh, come up uh, tops on, uh, from this game because yesterday everybody almost gave it to uh, the police uh, ladies from uh, Ghana. But fortunately for them, that goal came and uh, they secured a draw, which put them in a very, very, uh, not too comfortable position. But then I think to some extent, yes, they can stretch out something from this game. Uh, most definitely. Still Ding Dong uh, in the middle of the uh, field uh, with uh, Royal Queens uh, looking like the more determined side, uh, holding possession uh, in the early exchanges uh, of this match. Uh, an infringement uh, spotted uh, by the center referee and it could like a free kick uh, to uh, Royal Queens. Uh, surprisingly, uh, only Badger have not started with the same uh, intensity and tenacity they started yesterday against uh, the Ghana ladies. Uh, Seberita has been kept quiet in the left back uh, yesterday. She had a field day uh, on the flank, uh, but today uh, she has been, of course, uh, kept back by Ogundero Thosin, uh, who is uh, the number 13 you know, for, of course, Royal Queens, uh, who is attacking uh, that left-hand side. She will have a few days uh, in the office, uh, if I must say, because it looks uh, very well uh, like Thosin, who want to run down that flank and cause plenty of trouble uh, for Seberita, the number three shirt uh, for the Oni Badgers ladies. Throwing uh, two uh, Royal Queens uh, on the far left-hand side. Another player I'm looking forward to from the Honey Badgers is the number nine shirted jersey. I think uh, her name is Atsumi. Deswa, yeah. Yes, I think she did so well. Uh, she was one that won the player of the match in their yesterday. last game yesterday. So um, my, uh, my eyes are on her, and I know that a lot of people's eyes are also on her. I most definitely throwing uh, down on the right hand flank of uh, Aja with that one holding it. Uh, to take the throwing. Ajadi Bucky uh, t uh, taking the throwing. Of course, uh, she has now left it. Uh, it looks like the center referee has spotted a free kick uh, instead uh, in that one. Sam Wevera. In swing one into the box. Uh, but down to the head of the captain of the only beast. Uh, she clears it out. Uh, allowing a side uh, to build a counter attack. Uh, the ball is played uh, into the feet uh, of Atume Doswa. Uh, she's alone uh, in the ball. What can she do with this one? There is nobody in the box, but of course, uh, one player now arrives in the box. She squares it, but of course, she has now lost possession of that one. There was a little or no support uh, for Atume in that one. Uh, she had to uh, claw back uh, with her teammates uh, running uh, in that one, throwing uh, two only badgers down uh, on the flank uh, as they build uh, an attack of their own. I don't think I can be a coach. <laughs> you have to have uh, plenty of uh, shouting power and patience uh, to be a coach. Uh, because both managers uh, know what is at stake oh uh, for their side uh, in this game. Wow. Well, so far so good. It's panning out well for the two teams. We are still watching and looking for forward to seeing uh, some classical kind of football and achieving uh, or getting uh, maximum points. And this uh, game. A uh, safe play there from Wandi Oluchi. Uh, she took no risk uh, playing the ball out. Uh, it will be uh, a corner kick uh, for uh, the girls uh, from Marco the Honey Badgers. Girls are uh, down on the flank uh, looking for that first goal uh, of today. Swung in, of course, a header from Doswa, but uh, he has been cleared off the line. <sighs> it will be another corner kick down on the flank. What a fantastic header. But of course, uh, a good uh, off the goal line clearance by the defender there. It could have just been the first goal for Absolutely. her. And her second goal uh, of this competition. She's looking like a threat already uh, in this game. Another corner kick uh, taken uh, into the box. But this time uh, into the flying head. But it has now been cleared uh, by uh, the Royal Queens uh, ladies.
Throwing uh, to Onivajas, Tesserita with the ball. Of course, a free kicker for the Onivajas ladies. And to end stuff uh, in this game. Possession still with only Vajas, but it has now been considered uh, to the Royal Queen's Lady with a throw in to the side from Marcody.